Okay, folks, welcome to The Contrarian Trader. This is Robert Desmond. It is Wednesday, October the 5th, 2011. Folks, let's let's just do a run-through of the charts I'm going to be going over, going over this evening. The first is going to be the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Diamonds as well, the Dow Transports, the U.S. Dollar, the VIX, FXP, the FXP puts you short of China, Netflix, who everybody knows. DXD, which is a short of the Dow Jones Industrials. MX, which is Magna Chip Semiconductor, which is an extreme oversold stock. And Batiste Semiconductor. This one I haven't traded since the 90s. So let's, let's get started. Dow Jones Industrials. On Tuesday, you had a beautiful key reversal off of the 10,400 level. Now, now, if you were to draw a trend line touching across the bottom of the uh, bottoming tails here, you would see that the, the 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 bottom on Monday was 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 natural support in a downtrend channel. So there should have been no real surprise that there was going to be a rally off that level. Traders latched on to a Financial Times report late in the afternoon, and they took it and ran. And what you saw was a massive, massive short squeeze. Today, fast forward, you had a continuation rally, closing above the 10,900 level. Volume dropped off. But it's if you, if you weren't long here, it's kind of late to get long of this market because now what you're doing is you're running into resistance. There are sellers in here. Lots and lots of people want to get out. There were a lot of people that were betting that we would get a breakout out of this pennant formation and proceed higher. They were buying in here only to see the markets break down and all they, all they want to do now is get back to even. So you're going to have some stiff resistance coming in here at the 11,000 level if we get back up that high. Let's take a look at the diamonds real quick. As a matter of fact, before we go to the diamonds, let's take a look at a couple of the indicators. You have the stochastic RSI still in a downtrend. The slow stochastics, although we've had these two higher moves up, you still have the slow stokes that are trading along the bottom of its pen formation. There's really no reaction out of the slow stokes, which is odd. The MACD, I told my members over a week ago, watch out for this setup. This is a head and shoulders setup on the Dow Jones Industrials. If you go to the, uh, the Russell 2000, if you go to the S&P 500, you will see the same pattern. This is not to be ignored. So please, if you're thinking about getting long right now, it's not time yet. You need to wait for a double bottom to occur. And I'll be sending out alerts to my members, alerting them when it's time to get long. But the time is not now for a trade again. You had to have been getting long here. I was closing out shorts, not getting long. So I'm sitting in a lot of cash right now. Uh, Dow Transport. As a matter of fact, let's go to the Dow Diamonds first. I wanted to point this out. Sometimes you get a divergence. You saw the up volume on the Dow Jones Industrials. Look at the up volume on the diamonds. The volume just dropped off a cliff. I mean, it even came in below average. So it really wasn't even on par with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So you can read into that. There wasn't net buying. What you saw today was short covering. Their positions, not long-term investors out there. And again, here's your head and shoulders formation on the MACD. The Dow Transports. The Dow Transports were a little bit more bullish and, and constructive. They closed above the declining uptrend line here. Now the key is going to be, can it hold it? Or will it consolidate sideways and begin to break down? Volume declined dramatically although it was above the daily average we need to be fair we can't just be uh we, we can't wish for a down market or an up market we have to we have to call it as we see them and the, the transports broke above the resistance level today nice double bottom formation on the stoke rsi 
Stokes are responding on the transports. Now we need to see a breakout higher to confirm the rally. Here you have your head and shoulders formation again. The MACD has yet to complete that, that, that positive convergence, the black line crossing above the red line to, to simplify it, or the histograms going positive. You're not seeing that yet. So again, you don't want to go buying transports into resistance. You need to wait. You need for that pullback. Then you want to see a higher low or a retest of the bottom. Then you want to take your chances, put your stop loss orders in, and go for it. Then you'll be long. That's what we're waiting for. Right now, there's too much risk out there to get long. Why is there too much risk? Well, this is a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar. Take a look. The U.S. dollar is trading above its 200-week moving average. That's a bullish sign. It's trading above its uptrend line. Still bullish. The dollar, the, here's your overlay of the S&P 500 here. As the dollar strengthens, the S&P 500 gets weaker. So you need to, to, you need to be cognizant of not just the daily charts. Forget about the intraday charts until you're ready to press the, the buy button. You need to watch the weekly charts as well. Let's move on. The VIX. The VIX had, yes, a massive correction. But again, as with the dollar, we are still holding above that the lower band, the lower band of its uptrend line. The, the bearish case here is that we topped out. We did not reach the highs of 48, which is the previous highs. So we put in a new lower high that's bearish for, for uh the volatility and for the vix but bullish for stocks fxp fxp again puts you short of china now we were long of the fxp as a matter of fact we were long of the fxp back here we added to it here on that pullback and you can see how extreme these pullbacks are sure enough i told my members last week in the weekend commentary Expect a rally in the FXP. It looked good. And we got it. On Monday morning, I sent out an alert to members saying, take half profits off the table on the FXP. It broke above the upper band of its, of its uptrend line. That's a sell signal. There's too much bullish uh, action going on in the FXP, meaning there's too much bearishness on the FXI, which is like the Dow Jones Industrials of China. So we knew to get out here. Yes, Tuesday, if you had a trailing stop loss, you probably would have caught a little bit more upside. Uh, you know, good for you if you did. But uh, if you're holding this, be careful because we can come all the way back down at a minimum and retest this 4250 level. At worst case, not worst case, we could come back down and test the 40 level. Um, worst cases, of course, we break down below this trend line. Uh, what we could see is a pullback to the $40 per share level, which, if that happens over the course of the next couple of days, would coincide with the lower band of its rising uptrend line. And then you can look to get long of FXP. If we like it, if we like that trade, I'll send out an alert to members. Netflix. I've been commenting on this. We did a day trade on it. Um, you know, yeah, does it look good? It does, it, but it didn't hit my price target. You need to have discipline in this market. I have a, a, a price target that is lower, and I'm probably going to lower that price target because this oversold condition, although it's still oversold according to the technical handbook analysis for dummies, uh, it's no longer extreme oversold for me. So I want to see lower lows on Netflix before I get involved with this and now it's going to be considerably lower so it, just take a look at the volume the volume is not high uh, this is pure short covering this doesn't excite me I'm not going to take on risk I would normally trade this by using uh, call options because it's such a highly priced stock so I would leverage the use of options call options and I'm not going to take that risk not with light volume like this I would rather wait if I'm going to be a long-term investor. Let's get that rally. Let's get that pullback. See if we put in a lower high, a higher low 
and then get long. But right now, no, it's not for me. Stokes look good. So, we, so yeah, could we see higher highs on Netflix right now? Sure. But the volume is not telling us it's time. So I'm not going to play with it right now. In fact, I'm going to be looking. If volume stays the way it does, I'm going to be looking to get short on Netflix. DXD. DXD puts you short of the Dow Jones Industrials. Folks, I've been short, I've been long of the DXD for quite some time now. And we've enjoyed a heck of a run here. So I didn't want to see these gains dissipate. So what we did is, what we did is, we took note of the fact that we were we were going parabolic. And as we saw the markets begin to sell off yesterday, at the end of the day, we took pro half profits off the table. We're still longer the DXD. We would like to add back in, but we want to do so at a better price level. I have one in mind. I'll be sharing that with my members this evening in the Contrarian Trader Members Edition. But thank God we took we took profits off the table because, look, it broke down once again this morning. And as a matter of fact, we're going to be getting long of TZA as well. TZA puts you short of the Russell 2000. We took profits on the uh, TZA back here uh, really close to the top and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and brag and say I got I get out at the top all the time folks it's rare that I do you know the best investors will tell you you know first out best out so it was just a, a case of where we got we had a trailing stop loss order got triggered and we got out because we saw a parabolic was going look at an RSI that was above 80 what, what, what why do we want to take the chance of losing our, our profits so anyway we we saw this morning okay folks this is a this is a five minute chart of the of the tza and you could see that on this is the close on um on tuesday and you could see how we went out look at this rsi now, all of my members know this don't go chasing this don't go chasing this market if they spike it open more than likely we are going to get a pullback in the market, that's going to be your opportunity to trade to the long side. Because the TZA went out with a with a with an RSI that was well below 20. On a one-minute chart, it was closer to 11. So we knew, just by virtue of the TZA, the, it's RSI, that we we're going to get a rally in the markets. I mean, sorry, a sell-off in the markets, uh, but that would give you the opportunity to get long with the market. So I caution my members, don't chase the market at the open. If anything, we're going to want to look to get short. And sure enough, what happened this morning? The market sold right off, and you knew right here, these topping tails in a five-minute chart, if you traded this short covering of the, if you traded this, Extreme oversold condition on the TZA, you had better take profits here and get out, especially after that, that bullish candlestick action on S&P 500, Russell 2000, and Dow Jones Industrials yesterday. You knew there was going to be a follow through. You'd be a fool not to, not to take your profits and get out. And sure enough, TZA broke down after its rally. And um, let's move on to MX, Magnet Chip Semiconductor. This is an extreme oversold stock we have an rsi here of close to 10 so we like this one uh we liked it better at five unfortunately uh it was bid right up off of that support level i am liking this stock i'm going to be sending out an alert to members when we do get involved with it there is still some inherent risk in this stock so just because you see this bottoming tail here doesn't mean that you should go jumping in with both feet in the morning let's take a look at the intraday chart Yeah, see topping tails here. These, these are telling me that the probability is that you are going to see a, a possible pullback on MX in the morning. So I wouldn't go jumping in feet first on MX. What we're going to want to do is we're going to wait, watch, look for key support levels to hold, watch our indicators, and watch the volume action. And then I'll send out an alert to members of when we get long with MX. The T Semiconductor got it. When this popped up on my screen this evening, I was in shock. I haven't traded this stock in a long time. Uh, I can't. This was this used to be a high flyer back in the nineties. 
closed at about two bucks and twenty two two twenty a share. Uh, RSI is at nineteen point eight nine, just barely making our extreme oversold screen. I would like to see this get down a little bit further. Uh, you know, this is almost a doji formation here, so don't be surprised to see lower lows on the T semiconductor. We're seeing a nice double bottom here on the Stokes. So it's setting up nicely, but it's not there just yet. I'll go into this in more detail in the uh, weekly, uh, evening commentary with members. Folks, if you want to get alerted to when we get uh, long or short of this market, please sign up for the 14-day free trial offer. You'll also be going to be receiving a uh, the evening commentary uh, that I'll be sending out to members this evening. If nothing else, please sign up for my email, email newsletter, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great, great evening, and be safe out there, folks. There's a lot of there's a lot of volatility out there and we're cautioning you once again take a look at these volume bars and the diamonds the volume bars are dropping off and we are heading into resistance remember the transport yes they closed above support but we're in hold remember the dow jones industrials volume dropped off although uh, on the index, volume dropped off and above average, but still your indicators aren't confirming the move. Look at the, look at the Stokes. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's barely it's barely acknowledging the two-day rally here. So please be cautious. You have the EU meeting come, so please be cautious out there, folks. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Take care. It's Robert at the Contrarian Trader. Have a good night.